Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our anatomy playlist. In the previous video, we talked about an introduction to fascia. Today, we'll talk about the first type of fascia, which is superficial fascia. So, let's get started. This is my anatomy playlist. The skin is the biggest organ of your body, and it serves several functions. From top to bottom, or from superficial to deep, epidermis, followed by dermis, followed by hypodermis. Epidermis has five layers, dermis has two layers, and hypodermis is the same as the superficial fascia. I'm going so quickly through these slides because we've talked about them before. Do you see this reticular layer of the dermis? It makes cleavage lines, which are important for surgeons. And when the skin is attached to deeper structure, it forms skin creases. These include your fingerprints as well as stria. And the lovely skin has many appendages. Please pause and review. Underneath the skin, there is fascia. There you go. Just like the skin was epidermis and dermis, the fascia was superficial and deep. So pause and review. The superficial fascia also known as the hypodermis or the telesubcutanea or the subcutaneous tissue loose and adipose loose very thin such as eyelids penis and scrotum or it could be thick and very rich in fat such as breasts buttocks and anterior abdominal wall as the prominent historian will durant once said quote Throughout the past millennia, these three regions have been the subject of many poems, novels, and plays. They have been adorned with varieties of jewelry, piercing, and tattoos. These three have contributed to our culture and enriched our heritage. Such is the delirious impact of the superficial fascia on the cerebrum of mankind. What the hell is wrong with people? Close quote. Honestly, Will Durant never said any of this. I was just improvising. Okay, Medicosis, so in some areas of the body, the superficial fascia is very thin. In other parts of the body, the superficial fascia is so thick. Yes, but there is more. Superficial fascia is very dense at the scalp, your palms, and your soles. Functions of the superficial fascia, storage of fat, lots of fat, insulation, so it's gonna protect you. From cold weather, for example, it gives you a nice contour. The superficial fascia contains mammary glands. The mammary glands are embedded within the superficial fascia. Some sweat glands are not just in the dermis. They extend deeper into the superficial fascia. And some superficial muscles, collectively known as paniculus carnosus. Carno means flesh. Paniculus, fat. When the muscle is in the fat. When the flesh is inside the fat. This has many examples, the most prominent of which is the platysma muscle. Let me tell you something. You know what's the significance of this fact and this fact? Suppose that you became morbidly obese. Your eyelid will not swell. Your penis and scrotum will not get bigger just because you became obese. Why not? Because there is no fat there. Although that would have been hilarious. In contrast, if you become obese, these areas will swell. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. Let's take it to the clinic. Clinical correlation. Since superficial fascia is very dense in the palms and the soles, we gotta know what are the rashes that can affect the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. And these are 10 famous examples. Secondary syphilis, erythema multiforme, hand, foot, mouth disease, thank you, Coxsackie virus, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, varicella zoster viral infection, Neisseria infection. Whenever you see a patient with meningitis and petechial rash, including palms and soles, this is Neisseria meningitis, meningitis. Streptococcus moniliformis infection, which causes rat bite fever, subacute bacterial endocarditis, toxic shock syndrome, and Kawasaki disease. Inflammation of fascia is known as fasciitis. Soft tissue infections are common after surgical operations. And you can learn about this by downloading my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionetis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionetis, where medicine makes perfect sense.